Pipeflow Expert provides extensive functionality for modeling pumps. One particularly useful feature is the ability to import a pump performance curve image into Pipeflow Expert and define a pump based upon that image. The pump is configured as a set speed pump and at the top of the screen one of the buttons says import curve image which we will click to open the pump sheet import and point selection screen. This screen will walk us through all the steps needed to import the pump performance curve image and define data from the image that Pipefor Expert can use to define the pump. So first we'll click import pump sheet image and browse to the image where we have it saved on the PC. Once we've selected the image you can see it's been imported into the screen here. The next step is to define the x-axis which means defining min and max values and units for it. The min has to be 0 for the x-axis but for the max we're going to specify 2750 US gallons per minute and then we have to tell Pipeflow Expert where that actually is on the image so we'll click the select x-axis on image button and then we'll draw that range from 0 to 2750 over the image so Pipeflow Expert knows where that axis is we're now moved on to the next step, which is define y-axis. We'll do that in exactly the same way as we just did for the x-axis. So this one goes from 10 to 90 in units of feet fluid. Again, we'll draw the y-axis over the image so that Pipeflow Expert knows where that is. And the top of this y-axis is 90, although it's not labelled on the image. And the final step is to select points on the curve. So we'll click that button. And we're reminded that the first point has to be for zero flow. So let's put that at zero flow. And we'll define data for the middle of the three impeller sizes. We're going to be defining 10 data points and it's a good idea to have a reasonable spread of data on either side of the, of the um, maximum efficiency for the pump. So we'll start at this point here where the 65% efficiency line crosses the performance curve. Each time we add a point, a data point, we are prompted for the efficiency and the MPSHR value for that point. We can get the efficiency by using parts of the curve where the efficiency lines intersect and we can get the MPSHR from this plot at the bottom of the screen here by using the middle of the three lines which corresponds to the middle impeller size that we're using. So I shall work along the curve specifying each data point and then defining the efficiency and MPSHR value for it. And then when we've entered all the 10 points we need to specify the impeller speed, the diameter and the units of measurement for the diameter. We'll keep the Save Image with Pump checkbox ticked and click Save Data to Pump. Next we need to enter the min speed, the max speed, min impeller size and max impeller size and then click on the Draw Graph button. So we can see that the performance curve the Pipeflow Expert has calculated based upon the, the imported image for the impeller diameter that we modelled has very accurately overlaid the performance curve from the image. However, for the lower and upper impeller sizes, there is also a 
performance curve here, which is which has been generated, which doesn't overlay the uh, the one in the image. And PyFlow Express allows us to adjust these curves so that they uh, match much more accurately. So if we click on the Graph Options button and Adjust Pump Model, then we are given some controls to allow uh, the movement of the curves up and down the y-axis and also the radius of curvature uh, for each of the min and max impeller performance curves. So for example the top one we can see needs to be moved upwards which we can do using this control here and also the curvature needs to be adjusted to better match the the curve on the imported image. Also the lower curve needs to be moved downwards and again the curvature adjusted. So now we have a pump in PowerFlow Expert that's been defined according to the imported image. We can save this pump and save the pump to the pipe. Now if we calculate the system we can click on the pump icon and we can see that the operating point has been plotted onto this pump which is defined according to the imported image. Now what we can do is go back into design mode and to see the effect of changing the impeller size on how the pump operates, we can click on the pump again, go back into the pump data screen, and change the impeller diameter for the pump. So I've increased this to 12.8 inches. If I now save that pump to the pipe and recalculate the system, again I can look at the pump in results mode, and you can see here the modified operating point of the pump when it's using the larger impeller size.